today I'll show you how to install the latest Garak build on OnePlus 2 for this download the build and uh, put it into your internal memory put the G apps into the internal memory and reboot into the recovery I have hybrid TWRP recovery installed for H2OS and the latest OnePlus ROM. Um, it it is highly recommended to install only this recovery. First, take a take a backup for your ROM. The backup is completed. Now will format the phone wipe advanced wipe delvic system data leave the internal storage and wipe the phone it's done now we'll go and install the ROM the same latest 13 lit same uh, 13 the latest build 36 2016 oops and G apps for this swipe to install You can install this ROM with the same recovery, TWRP recovery, with the, uh, which you have installed Oxygen OS 3.0 Beta or Hydrogen OS. And if you are facing an error, you should install Oxygen OS Beta 2 before installing this ROM. Let this complete. Now it's installing GApps. Done. Wipe cache and reboot. Don't disable. Time for first boot. It's taking time for the boot because it's the first boot after the installation of ROM. It will take more time.
after almost seven or eight minutes the device booted up now it's showing android starting and optimizing apps it will take some time because first it has to optimize all the apps then boot into the home screen so this is the first boot of boot screen of cm13 latest build uh, latest 90 uh, I'll complete the setup and be right back. Uh, setting up the phone took uh, less time, it was fluent, and setting up the fingerprint sensor was easy. Uh, in this build, it is damn fast uh, than the last build. Uh, this build uh, is on the latest kernel sources of uh, the latest beta build by Oxygen OS, which was released yesterday. Uh, the UI is pretty, f pretty fluent. Everything is seems good. It is on the latest Android version and the latest security patch. Uh, not on the latest security security patch. It's on the last month security patch. But uh, the phone is pretty fluent and no at no heat at all. Uh, the last build was not so good as at as this one. Uh, it got the latest browser by Cyanogen Dual sim are working fine As you can see getting the both sim signals Double tap to wake is working fine double tap to sleep is working fine you can sleep the phone by tapping the status bar you got that camera you got in cyanogen mod but you can install the oxygen os camera if you want i'll give the links in the description below this is the same build uh, as the 90 build released by of uh, officially released by cyanogen Now I'll show you the benchmark. First, let me download the Antutu and Geekbench. It will take some time. Let them install. phone is pretty fluent great multitasking because of this 4GB RAM till now everything is great got the same theme engine if you want to change the themes and all that default music player LR slider is working fine you got settings for LR slider too if you want to do anything set them as you want to set them you can swap buttons for these two capacitive button if you want to set this as a back button or you want to set 
the default as this the back button audio fix is there let's, let's check out the music in this build It's loud enough. You used to call me on my It's not that loud as the uh, MX audio by OnePlus, but yeah. it is loud. You used to call me on my cell phone. Late night when you need the speaker job is good. If you want to check the camera quality, I'll show you the camera quality. Not that good as the Oxygen OS camera quality. You can, but you can install that app on this. Let's test the phone on Geekbench. Uh, 